we're going to talk about creating a task with a task type and what the task type is used for. If we hit create task here, we're going to go ahead and create a new task. And then we can just go ahead and attach a customer to that task. Let's say we're going to go ahead and create one for Alfonso's Pizza. And task types can be, they can cover a wide range of industries. Um, we may have a extermination company or a plumbing company, a lawn service. So basically if somebody calls and needs to send you out one time to look at something special, we have these things called task types. If we don't see one that we like from the task type dropdown, we could just start typing. Um, someone out to mow the lawn. So these task types are going to be used to track things that you do all the time in the software. Um, for example, if you know you get calls to have someone come out and mow the lawn one off, you can set a task type and then it's searchable on the task list. If you start typing for something that doesn't exist in the task type, when you tab out or click out, it's going to ask you, basically, it's not on the list, would you like to add it now? If you hit no, it'll only use it one time in one task. If you hit yes, it'll then exist in the dropdown going forward to be used in other tasks. Task types are useful for several reasons. We can attach questions and answers to them. We can also attach checklists. In this video, we're going to show you how to edit these task types and how to attach questions for the office. Um, and then we'll have another video on how to do checklists. So if we need to edit these task types, let's say we've created them and we need to edit, remove, or add some, we can double click any of these task types where it's listed in blue here. It'll bring us in. We're now on the task type list. From here, if there's one that you want to remove, you can just highlight it here on the left, click it and highlight. Once it's black, hit delete on your keyboard, and then it'll be removed from the system. So let's go through these real quick. If you want to add a new task type here, you could do it from the list. You can add multiple task types while you're in here. Um, Maybe the lawn's really long around the house and we need to get that weed whacked. We can give it a sort order. It's just going to be the order they display in the drop down if we want. In here we can put we could put actual like uh, default messages. So when you select that task type, it'll say exactly what you want it to say in the notes of the task. Um, so if we want one that says uh, the lawn was not weed whacked, need someone to come back out. So we can set that as a default uh, description here. If we click close, it saves those changes. And if we close the task and go back in fresh so that we give the system a chance to fix that stuff, we can actually select these task types. So if we were to create a new task, select the customer, and select the task type that I just did to send someone out to weed whack the lawn, you'll notice that the default description automatically pops in here. So that's one way that task types help a lot. Another way is once you have them created in your tasks, you can sort the task list by the task type. So maybe we need to know um, how many people need us to come out and spray for bugs. Well, we can sort by that, and then it'll tell us. We have two tasks right now waiting to be sprayed for bugs. From here, I'm going to show you how to attach a question to a task type. So let me just go into one of these tasks here. We'll grab the top one. And then again, we're going to double click here where it says spray for bugs. Brings us in a little deeper. We actually can now double click again. So just pick the one that you want, double click again. We're going in deeper. Now we can do task type questions. So you select the task type that you want, spray for bugs. Give it a sort order if you want them to show up in a certain order. Um, and these are for people that are in the office. So when they select this task type and they have someone on the phone, it's going to give a couple questions. Uh, where are the bugs at? That's the first question. And maybe we have another question that we need to pop up. We want it to be the second question. Um, what type of spray would we use? So you can also document what type of spray to use. And maybe we also need to know one last thing. Um, are they ants or some other critter? So now we've attached three different questions to a task type to spray for bugs. We can click close to save that and click close to save it here. Now we may 
need to close and reopen the task. If you don't see them pop up right away, just close and reopen because we've just added that option. But we should be able to click task type again, and now we get the questions. Again, these are for the person who's taking that phone call and setting up this work order. Um, these are questions that need to be answered for, their, for your technicians. So while you're on the phone, you're going to find out where the bugs are at behind the stove and what type of spray should they use, um, anything that does not harm children they could put in there. Maybe they have kids and they don't want anything that's going to affect them. And they answer some other critter, just put ants. Now once you've added this in here, these questions and answers show up for the technicians on the mobile devices and on the printouts if you decide to print. That way they kind of know what they're doing when they get there. And really from here, that's, that covers the task types, how to delete them, how to add them, how to add questions. If you need a video on how to attach checklists, that's in the next video.